Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It's all about how your person is feeling about you, Aquarius. So if there's a specific person you have in mind and you're wondering how they're feeling, whether or not they're coming across in the way that they're actually um, feeling about the connection um, and their overall level of interest, please keep watching. Um, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, feel free to check out your other placements if you like. But if you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, how is your person feeling? Um, how are they seeing you? What do they like? What do they not like about the connection? Overall level of interest. Let's see what messages want to come out here for my Aquarians. Wow, okay. Interesting. Um, so I think there are definitely mixed messages here, Aquarius. I think your um, person is coming across <laughs> quite different to how they really feel about the connection, which is interesting. So a bit of confusion. And I don't think the confusion is going to last for long. That's the, that's the good news. Um, this is how they're seeing you. Three of Cups energy. Um, they're looking at you, Aquarius, as you're just really bringing a lot of joy and happiness and celebration into their life. They're seeing you as someone who is very um, social, likes to catch up with friends, likes to, you know, sort of be a little bit of a social butterfly and just generally let loose and have a good time. I think you're able to really separate things where, um, you know, even if, you know, when you need to get serious, you get serious. But at the end of the day, if you're out having a good time or you're just letting your hair down, you're able to just fully let go, let loose and just enjoy yourself. This could be someone who you have reconciled with from the past as well. Sometimes we get a little bit of reconciliation energy with the three of cups. So this could be um, someone who you're dealing with who um, sees the connection that you shared in the past um, and is wanting to sort of reignite that with you. But yeah, you're, com you're coming across in a very positive light to this person. Um, sometimes, um, and again, just because of the way that the other cards have come out, you may be worried that um, this person has multiple options. And I say that because they're coming across as the Seven of Swords, um, air energy. So more, um, you know, could be dealing with another Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra, but they're coming across as a little bit manipulative here, a little bit sneaky, like you're not sure if you can trust them because you don't know whether they are doing things or acting in a way that is very, very selfish and self-serving or whether they have your interests in mind as well. So is this person just, you know, all out, all about themselves, um, out to just do whatever it takes to benefit themselves, never mind anyone else? Um, or are they someone who is going to, you know, reciprocate and has your needs in mind and your feelings in mind? Like, are they are they considering you or are they just considering themselves? At the moment, you're worried that they're coming across as quite sneaky and manipulative. You're also worried that maybe they are deceiving you. Maybe they are trying to take what they can from the situation, but also maybe they're sneaking around, maybe they're trying to get things from other people as well. So that's what you're worried about. However, the deeper feelings on show here, um, or sorry, the deeper feelings are very different to what is on show here with the Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person has a lot of deep emotion, but they are not the type to really show it very easily. Um, A, because they're coming across so different there with the Seven of Swords we just saw, but B, because it's Cancer energy here. The Queen of Cups um, has a lot of emotion in this cup, but she keeps a lid on it. It's not like she's completely um, wearing her heart on her sleeve. She keeps those emotions um, hidden from view sometimes, you know, or protected in that in that outer layer protected by you know a strong a strong exterior so this is someone who for whatever reason um you know it could be what they've experienced in the past or maybe it is just the way they come across their personality they are not one who is going to be very open with their emotions but the emotions run very deep so it's very interesting that that's come up here what they like about the connection is um will of fortune 
we've got again fixed sign energy so Aquarius there you um, are again Taurus Leo Scorpio this is this connection is feeling like something that is maybe fated for this person like it's it's like it was fate or destiny that you two met or that you two connected or reconnected the case may be they're feeling like there was a reason um for you know you two to meet and it is going to be something significant they also feel like their luck is going to turn around for the better with this connection um that may also be why you're concerned that this person is coming across as a little bit sneaky and manipulative and selfish because you're worried that are they just again trying to get a, an increase in their own um, fortune in their life by dealing with you are they just using you for that I don't think so I don't actually think they are this person is so worried Scorpio energy here with the death card this person is so worried that you are just gonna completely leave them behind um, and just put an end to the situation um, they're worried that that is almost going to be inevitable and I think they're actually going to have a harder time moving on from this than you are Aquarius if you decide or you know either one of you decides to end the connection um, it's going to end for good I think that's what they're worried about they don't want to do something to screw it up otherwise they know that it could just potentially end forever that's what they're scared of and ultimately, I do feel like they are less capable of moving on. I mean, both of you would move on, but they see it as you would move on a little bit quicker than them if something were to go wrong, if something were to completely end. We finish off with the Queen of Swords here. This is all about really, again, more air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is all about really achieving the truth in the situation there's going to be an honest conversation there's going to be a very blunt brutal honest conversation that's going to be had but it has the potential to really turn things around um, or it has the potential to completely end things one way or another this is coming so if this hasn't happened yet it's coming it's inevitable um, the truth will come out and the truth could just be the truth about how each of you are feeling um, what your thoughts are, what your feelings are about their behavior, about how they're coming across, what they really want from this, the fact that you don't want to waste time, if you're not sure about you know, whether you can trust this person or not, that is all going to be revealed. I'm going to pull out um, another card for advice or see if we can get any other messages here, any other advice or messages for this situation for Aquarius, please. Any other advice, messages, positive affirmations. Any other advice, messages, try to get just one, one or two, not so many dropping out. Any other advice, please? Page of Fire, King of Birth. Okay, this is interesting. So I do feel like there is a lot of actual physical attraction that ties you two to another. Um, you both also get along quite well. One or both of you has a very good sense of humor. There's a lot of spark there. There's a lot of passionate spark and chemistry. Um, but what we need to consider is really what are the long-term ramifications of this? And at the end of the day, I think there's going to be a discussion on where is this going long-term because you or your person does not want to waste any more time in this situation. Um, that conversation is going to be necessary. Um, ultimately, I actually think this person is not feeling how they're coming across. So I think you might be very surprised by what they have to say. And I think that it may even spark a new sort of um, attraction or, or get things sort of turning around again. Um, this is very interesting. It's, I think it's early days. I think there's a lot more that's going to come in this situation. Um, a lot more needs to be revealed, but yeah, it, it's, it's very interesting to see both of you, there's going to, something needs to happen to get both of you on the same kind of page. Cause at the moment it's a little bit, um, disconnected in terms of thoughts, feelings, how you put things across, um, your actions, their actions, how they get interpreted that needs to, um, 
there needs to be some more clarification around that, but that is coming. So that's the good news. Hope you guys enjoyed that reading. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.